If you're watching this video, you probably already know who uh, B.F. Westcott is. He's a textual critic from the uh, 1800s who, with a guy named Hort, uh, created a Greek New Testament that underlies modern Bible translations. Um, I have an encyclopedia here. Encyclopedia Britannica from 1956 um, has an article in here about Westcott, uh, which says something very strange. It's a it's a very boring, short little article. Doesn't say much. Very matter of fact. Just lists his lists the titles of some some things he wrote and stuff. But right in the middle of the article is a very odd comment that I thought jumped right off the page. Uh, let's see. One of the most valuable works. The Gospel of Life, a study of Christian doctrine, incorporated the materials upon which he was engaged in a series of more private and esoteric lectures delivered on weekday evenings. Isn't that interesting? Let's read it again. A study of Christian doctrine incorporated the materials upon which he was engaged in a series of more private and esoteric lectures delivered on weekday evenings. Hmm. You know, the encyclopedias get worse over time. They used to be more forthright. Which is why the uh, 1911 Encyclopedia Britannica stated flat out that Westcott is a mystic. And the Princeton University Press in 1968 also said Westcott was a mystic. Get Gail Ripplinger's book, New Age Bible Versions. And read chapter 30, which starts on page 397, and then read Appendix A, which is basically several pages of direct quotes from Westcott himself. During the time he and Hort were creating their Greek New Testament. 